Hey guys, I'm going to do a review here of the GiantTeddy.com brand, 7 Foot Bear. I believe this is the mocha color. Uh, I ordered this. It took a little bit longer due to COVID and the Christmas holidays, but it did get here in a quick amount of time. Uh, one of the first things I'll say is I've bought from this company before, and it's GiantTeddy.com. I think there's a lot of confusion around a lot of other bears because they just consider them giant teddies. And you might see a lot of the YouTube uh, videos that just say Giant Teddies. But this is actually the GiantTeddy.com brand. And I found their bears to be, well, the, probably some of the highest quality bears that I've seen. So if you're buying this as a legitimate gift for somebody, uh, I think their bears are probably better to go to. And they are made in California, I believe. And their bears, <clears throat> in my opinion get here probably the most promptly they vacuum pack them as you can tell by the box uh i think you can get a box that says giant teddy on it uh but this one just came in a brown uline box for the seven foot bear this box is actually a 32 by 18 by 12 and of course it's bulging because it's vacuum packed in there and kind of stuffed in there got a pop can as kind of a reference in terms of the size now, one thing I will say about this company, considering I've bought a six-foot bear from them before and a 30-inch bear, I believe, both those bears were excellent. I love both of them, and part of the cool appeal about these bears specifically is actually opening them from the vacuum-packed bags. That's actually one of the highlights, and I'm going to try to wrap this in Christmas paper and then try to open it in the vacuum pack bag just for the effect of it expanding because this is a seven foot bear and as you can tell <clears throat> it's in a relatively tight confine right now um i'm gonna try to disguise it so you can tell it's a bear when it opens but it should be pretty neat to see i actually have the mocha or sunny cuddles colored uh bear so i'll give you guys a little bit more perspective as i open this now, one of the scariest parts about opening these boxes, as you can tell, it's under pressure from the bear pushing up against it. So clearly, you have to be very, very careful opening the box. Uh, you can tear it if you're strong enough, but if you use a, use a razor, don't extend it out all the way. Bring it all the way in, or just take a razor out by hand and cut it kind of side to side, you know, kind of coming at an angle. Whatever you can do not to go in deep, obviously to cut open the bear or to get dig into the bear. You have to be very careful about that when you do that. As you can tell, I cut the side so it relieves some pressure right there. And it gives you a little bit of more room to work with until you get to the center where it'll be pushed up against the bear. If I remember correctly, they have some like kind of thicker paper, uh, safety paper in between there and the bear. However, I would never, never rely on that. I'd be very, very careful when you open this to cut you know at an angle that way you do not cut the bear you know you can take your time doing this but you definitely do not want to cut into the bear all right i've got the box open here let's see what we got as you can tell there was actually no protective barrier between the box and the bear itself hence why i said be very careful with cutting through there uh i do have my labels the labels were kind of odd because they were sliding out the edge here they could have fallen out quite easily actually but it has my basic receipt. It has a little bit of instructions for the bear itself in terms of uh, cleaning it and maintaining it. As you can tell it's the GiantTeddy.com brand. And let's see what else we got here. We have a card. I don't think I've received it with a card before. It has a card. Maybe like a Christmas card. Oh. My little message. I had a printed message. Last time, I think this was affixed to a tag on the ear of the bear. But this is actually just in the card now. This is uh, somewhat a gag gift from one of my friends. You're my favorite blonde. <coughs> Everybody will enjoy that. So I'll set this off to the side. And as you can tell right off the bat, this is like a Ziploc bag with a vacuum seal. You could actually save this bag and reuse it if you wanted to. You would never need to store it. But as you can tell, it's just like a regular Ziploc bag. It splays apart, you pull it apart, and the bag or and the bear comes out. <clears throat> now getting this out of the bag is 
I've seen people actually struggle with this. You could pull it straight up. That's easy. Or you could just flip it over upside down and the bear will fall out if you squeeze it a little bit. Well, as you can tell, it comes in a gigantic Ziploc bag, as you can tell. Uh, same thing as I showed before, all you have to do is pull that apart <clears throat> and the bear will essentially be unvacuum packed. And you can reuse this. This is actually not to open it, but to close it. After, if you'd have to put the bear back in, you can seal it uh, to make sure those two Ziploc, uh, Ziploc strips go back together. This is a one-way chick valve. Uh, I can actually let a little bit of air out by pulling it out. That's how it naturally pulls air out when you, you hook up a vacuum to it. The bear, there's the legs, I believe, and I believe the head is kind of folded over on itself, almost like if you're touching your toes and then you would vacuum pack yourself. That's pretty much how I think the bear is. The complication I have for my little surprise is, is there's actually a bag on the inside as well holding the bear. <clears throat> they, I think they, what they do is they stick the bear in, stuff them in, and then they kind of pull it down so it'll fit in the bag easier. I actually want to to be a surprise when the bear opens up. So I'm going to actually unvacuum pack this bear. I was not planning on doing that. Hopefully I can fit it back inside the vacuum bag. We shall see. This is a seven foot bear that's in a bag right now and it's about, well, there's a pop can. I would say roughly about two feet wide and about maybe three feet tall. So we're gonna see here. Well, it's, it's <laughs> I, I don't even know if this will work. It might fail like miserably, so we'll find out. All right, try it, pull it. Oh, I think. Just pull it apart, pull it apart. Well, like, pull, pull the top of her. It's in the air mouth. Pull that apart. No! Pull it up. Pull it up. Go. Oh, I know what it is. It didn't work. I know what it is. It kind of is an air mattress. seven foot tall so yeah <laughs> it may vacate your guys's cuddling space on the bed well a lot of me no you you got to realize you can actually use it you could use it down here instead of like a recliner you could actually use it when you sleep on the floor yeah <laughs> oh my god. It's so big. <laughs> Holy fuck. Its head is bigger than my body. <laughs> it fits in the bed. Barely. Yeah, barely. Get it? Yeah, the legs <laughs> as tall as her. <laughs> Get up here. <laughs> Sorry, Trent. You got a, some comp you have some competition. <laughs> There. <laughs> <laughs> Did you just spread them? Yeah. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Junky pie face. You gotta get in there too. We're gonna get in there. Get in there. You're the only girl. Get in there. Get in there. Get in there. Come on. It's just a bear. It's just a bear. It's just a bear. Why am I undoing everyone's shoes today? <laughs> Yeah, Matt, Connor, you could do shoe shining. <laughs> yeah. the, like the Detroit Auto Show. Get in there. Pop up in there. Get in, you're in the middle. Use his crotch as you Jesus. Wait, what is going on here? Hey, close your legs. <laughs> 
Me too, but oh, it's a terrible word. Stop it. I know. No, like really. I know. <laughs>